because I have my door that I use mostly on the driver's side of the van here, you can see I have to get out into the street, which is not really a problem. Right now it's uh, fairly quiet. Uh, a few minutes ago, there were cars rushing by. This is a popular spot. I'm in Alki or Alki Beach uh, of West Seattle. And well, this is easy for me to get in and out on a regular basis, having uh, my door uh, to the right behind the uh, the driver's side, so that I can get in and out from my driver's door into the back door. Makes it easy. There's some Russian cars. Uh, didn't have that all night. It was quiet here all night, but. But this will get worse as the day goes on. But what I was going to say is, um, yeah, this is not the most ideal situation if you want to sit and make your coffee and look out. I don't even know if you can hear me. If you want to sit and make your coffee and look out at, a, at some pretty scenery and you live in the city, this is not terribly ideal. But it does make it easier for me on a daily basis to get in and out. Now, while this is not a pretty spot to look at, it's a little noisy. The other direction, well, that's a whole lot different. So here's a little better view of my neighborhood last night and this morning. This is where I parked. More rushing cars. More rushing cars. Actually, those cars are going the speed limit which is unusual for this area. Um, weren't very many people parked here last night for some reason. Don't know why, it's usually uh, packed, but it is the winter time. So there's probably less, uh, less out of towners here. But this is a nice spot. There's a typical uh, Seattle morning. You can see the Space Needle off there in the distance. That's downtown Seattle. And yeah, typical, but they look right up here. Look at that, hey, a little bit of blue, a little bit of blue sky. That'll probably disappear in a few minutes. just a few minutes later and look you can almost see the sun it's supposed to be rainy all day this is nice to see a little bit of sky this is such a peaceful area I don't park down here very often anymore but I probably should just because it's got such a nice vibe. Even when it's busy out here, it's just really kind of peaceful and nice to hang out here. And then there's the city. That is not peaceful, but it's fun over there. Lots of great food. Don't know where I'll end up today. Maybe over there, I don't know. It's been rainy like crazy. Even the locals here have been complaining about how much rain there is. I usually don't mind the rain, but uh, I'm starting to get tired of it. Oh my, those divers are in the water. It's actually kind of a warm day. I think it's about 50 degrees or so right now. Maybe, maybe not quite there, but uh, close. But man, that water's gotta be cold. You could not get me to do that ever. I can hardly believe what I'm seeing here. It 
it's somewhat warm, a little breezy, but uh, about 50 degrees, sunny. Of course, there are still a few clouds out, but wow, I just am so very happy to see a little bit of sun. You know who else is happy to see some sun? It's my solar panel. Yeah, getting a little bit of power finally. So last night I spent the night in one of my favorite areas uh, to park overnight, which is Alki Beach, uh, which is uh, just west of Seattle, so west, west Seattle. So now I'm up in Ballard, which is just north of Seattle. And I came up here to meet a friend, uh, an online friend. Um, I've, we've known each other for a few years, except we've, we've never actually met. We just have, uh, known each other online. Um, interestingly, uh, he is a real nomad. He travels all over the country. And, uh, you know, I am partly a nomad. I'm partly static. I kind of feel like I've got one foot in the nomad world and one foot in the static world. So whenever I get a chance to meet somebody that actually travels full time, uh, I, I usually kind of jump at it because uh, I always try to pick their brain because it would be nice to do a little more traveling someday. I don't know if I want to be a full-time traveler, uh, like my, like my friend, but, um, but it's still kind of cool that he can move around as, as he wishes, at least sort of anyway. Um, so anyway, that was fun, uh, to get to meet up with him. Um, and now it is a little past 11. I didn't eat breakfast and so I should probably do that. So I was looking, um, looking on Google Maps. I don't know the area very well up here. I don't usually come up to Ballard uh, very often. Parking's a little bit crazy up here and traffic is really crazy up here and so I usually kind of avoid this area. Um, so I don't know the area very well. So looking at Google Maps, I found that there is a new location to uh, one of my favorite stores uh, called PCC, which is a co-op uh, that is based here in Seattle. So... It was convenient to where we met up, so um, it is also going to be convenient for me to get some brunch or lunch. Anyway, food. Food now. <laughs> As I was thinking about where to spend the weekend, I was thinking about heading out toward the coast or out toward the Olympic Peninsula because the weather looked like it was going to be better out there. It's supposed to be warmer and sunnier, but... Since it's now warmer and sunnier than what they had said it was supposed to be here, I'm glad I stuck around in town. Really glad. And there we go, PCC, Community Markets. You know what's cool is there's a West Marine here in this plaza. Ooh, and a Trader Joe's over there. I don't know if this is all new and I just don't know of it or what, but uh, I may have to go into West Marine and maybe Trader Joe's since I'm here. Boy, it's just beautiful out today. I always really like eating at PCC. Uh, it's not the cheapest place, but the food is actually really good. Nice little find here. So I've been wanting to go into a West Marine store, but I just haven't taken the time to search one out. Since one's right here, I think I'm gonna run in. Um, as you can see, we're losing our, our sun, but it's still not bad out. Uh, anyway, West Marine is a marine store, and uh, if I need electrical supplies, I usually like to buy them here uh, at, at a marine store anyway, versus an RV store. RV store stuff is usually not very good quality. Marine 
stuff is usually good quality. More expensive, but usually better quality. One of the things that I've been thinking about doing is uh, starting to charge my house battery off of my alternator. I've never had to do that in the past, but this winter has been really bad. And as the climate seems to be changing, uh, whether you believe that or not, um, it is. And so I've noticed that there's a lot uh, more cloudy days and rainy days. And it's not just because I'm here in Washington. It's just that's just the case everywhere. I'm thinking about um, and pricing options of buying cable and running a charge off of my alternator. Uh, the alternator's there. I could be using it. Uh, I just haven't really needed to do it before and hopefully I won't need to do it but it's something I should probably think about long term unfortunately so it feels like wasted money to me because I'd rather go solar only uh, but I need to look at options. Well it was sunny and nice, now it's raining. Nice while it lasted. So no real decisions on battery isolators uh, that I don't really need to do that quite yet. It's just something I should think about. But I did buy these. Um, this is a waterproof fuse holder. I have a fuse on my battery, but I'm not crazy about the fuse holder itself. And so this one made for boats, it's waterproof, it has a little cover that snaps on. Uh, nice gauge wire on it and so I think I'm gonna swap uh, the one I have out for this one this should be a good upgrade and it was only I don't know 12 bucks for this or something so um, I think that is money well spent uh, but I'm not gonna do it tonight or today because um, well it's raining out so <laughs> I think uh, I think I'll wait for a little bit better weather was all excited about possibilities for today when the sun was out. Well, this sure seems like nap weather to me. I just realized how close I was to the water and the boats down here. So I thought I should walk down, check it out. Who cares about a little bit of rain, right? Yeah, I think anytime you can get down near the water, it's a good idea. really not that bad out now but the trouble is it's now a little bit more chilly than it was earlier so I'd keep walking and enjoying the waterfront here but uh, yeah I'm getting a little too cold to be out so I think I'll just go for a drive the nice thing is out in the distance I can see a little bit of sky it's a little blue here and there this is not exactly a walking neighborhood, but I'm doing some walking around anyway because the weather's still nice. We had a little bit of uh, rain that came in, but then it blew, all those clouds blew off and uh, now we got a little more sun. So now it's time for another cup of coffee. And I found some place I think might be special right up my alley. can say is wow the sun forgot what it was like <laughs> what's very different about equal exchange is they are vigilant about paying farmers a fair wage for good quality coffee beans as well as promoting organic farming techniques. It's very interesting and very unusual for the coffee business. Well, 
Oh no, my shadow is getting long. Still a little bit of sun out there. Since I was in the area, I thought I should check out the Ballard Locks. I haven't done that before. I walked down to the locks to get a better view of the sunset. But what I got a better view of really was a great moonrise. So it's about 6.30. So that means there's only one thing left to do today, and that is get some dinner. So I'm gonna try someplace new, and I think I'm gonna go for a burger again. I know I eat way too many hamburgers, but it is winter time and I've been working hard, so I kinda of need the calories. Uh, so I found a place that serves grass-fed, uh, hormone-free beef, uh, local beef. So I'm gonna give this place a try. decided to go with their poblano chili burger and it was a little spicy and very very good I think I said there was only one thing left to do and that was to get dinner but here I'm walking around after dark so obviously that wasn't the only thing left to do. There is one more thing before I go to bed, and that is to get desserts. Going to a place I've been wanting to go to for quite a while since I haven't been in this neighborhood. I haven't had the opportunity to now. It appears this place is popular. I guess somebody else had the idea to come down here too. Well, I guess it was a little bit odd to go out to get ice cream at 9 o'clock at night, especially after I'd been complaining about being cold all day. But I brought my ice cream home to enjoy next to my heater, so uh, now I'm warm and comfortable and can enjoy my ice cream. This is very good. Everything I've heard about it uh, was true. So I picked two. I've got uh, the sea salted caramel ice cream, and also I picked a chocolate oat milk sorbet, and they're both just incredible. Well, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my ice cream next to my uh, fireplace here, heater. And uh, yeah, wish you all well. Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.